I say, guys, Today we are putting the Shark IQ, my most favorite robot ever, not, through the gauntlet. Did really bad through the pickup test, and I assume it's going to do really bad with this test as well. Um, for many reasons. I'll show you at the end of the video if this thing airs out as much as I think it will. But, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. That's why we do these tests. It might surprise us. And it might do a good job. This is the fourth or fifth robot now I've done this to. And we're comparing them to all the other ones. So this test is not a pickup test. It's more of a test just to see what could potentially air out any robot vacuum. So I have some stuff laid around the room. Anything that could be around your house that your kids drop, you drop and you just don't realize that it's there. If your robot goes over it, this will kind of tell you if it's going to air it out or if it's going to be fine with it. So a big thing that... A lot of people want to see is a shoe with a shoelace sticking out. Got some fake dog poop. Thank God it's not real because if it was, pretty much all the robots would smear it everywhere. So we have a wireless earbud, a penny, a thicker, harder chunk of poop, a metal beer cap, a fork, Lego minifigure, another item that airs out a lot of robots is a charging cable, just a normal water bottle cap, a bigger figure, piece of candy, and then just a little bit of normal debris. So what do you guys think? What do you think on this test will air out the Shark IQ? I say the shoe for sure, this wire for sure, possibly the Lego piece, probably the fork, <laughs> probably the bottle cap, Realistically, that's probably about it, but we'll see. It might not air out at all, but once again, that's why we're doing this test. It might surprise us, and let's just go ahead and get into it. I wish this robot was good. I really do. But it's not. I will say Shark has some of the best advertising out there. And that's kind of sad because a lot of people love their advertising, including me. And they buy this robot and they think it's amazing. Because it's the only robot they've ever used. But truly it's a pretty poor robot when you compare them to some of the other ones that are even cheaper than this. Uh oh, it's going to run over that fork and the minifigure. <laughs> it's pushing itself along. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, if that was real poop, it would literally be everywhere. However, I'm not saying negative on the shark. Almost all robot vacuums just push around the poop. And that's what they're trying to fix with all the LiDAR systems and all the new robots and stuff. But I did the same test with the D-Bot T8 Plus, which has obstacle avoidance and it still ran over the poop so really no vacuum has been perfect for that so we'll see i'll let this guy run for a while well until it finishes this job hopefully i won't come down to save it i probably will if not then it's going to pass the test surprisingly if you guys are new do me a big favor please like and subscribe helps me out a lot and tomorrow night, Saturday, around 7 o'clock Central Time or so, I'm going to be throwing up a live video where I announce the winners for the two robot vacuums that I'm giving away. So pay attention to that. This should be a cool video. We're going to talk about robot vacuums. Ask whatever you want. And it uh, should be a good time. I might start doing a live video every weekend. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like that. All right, let's switch to the overhead view. And good luck, Shark.
Shark IQ, how much I love you. Wow, you're a great robot vacuum. Where's the freaking charging cable? I think it's inside of it still. <laughs> wow, Shark, you guys have a amazing robot vacuum on your hands. Jeez. So this has been in there the entire time. There's no way that was ever coming out. Surprisingly, that didn't air it out, but the shoelace did. Oh, the shoelace actually got caught up in the, the wheel and not the extractor bar, that's surprising. So, two things down. Alrighty, the shark IQ is done. Looks like it just got done eating dinner or something because there's a fork underneath it. But uh, overall, let's take a look at how well it did. So as you probably already saw on the overhead, the shoe and the cable aired it out, which is pretty common, I'll say, for robot vacuums. Um, this is the fourth one I've done through this test. And I believe three of them aired out by at least one of those. So yes, the shark aired out, but a lot of ones do. However, I will say, the ones that aired out on the cable typically air out pretty quickly so it's not driving around with the cable underneath it, half the cleaning pattern. So with that cable underneath it, that brush roll is definitely being obstructed, and it's gonna be doing a much poorer job cleaner than it would obviously without it. The other robots that get entangled with it, typically they'll alert you pretty quickly that there's a problem, and then you can come down and free it, and then it can go on with the job and do a better job cleaning overall because there's no cable being dragged. So I will admit, fully, I thought this was going to air out even more, so I guess I kind of have to give it props on that, I guess. But overall, I still hate it, but it did better in this test than I thought. I thought more of this stuff was going to get clogged. Another negative to this robot compared to others, when items get stuck in the roller, this thing just, just screams. The bloody murder like you can hear the rattling and clunking of whatever the item is other robots typically are still pretty quiet even if there's something still stuck inside of it let's take a look at the dirt bin see if it did pick up anything else give me that back all right so we picked up the candy no problem actually broken in half it did pick up the penny, and it did pick up quite a bit of debris because I did empty this before this test. So, all right, guys. So, what do you think of that test this time? Once again, like I said, it actually did better than I thought it would. Now, would I recommend this still? No way in the world. There's much better robot vacuums out there for the money. Let me know down in the comments if you own this guy, or if you would ever own this guy. Um, I've had nothing but trouble with four different models, and this one is the same. It's just, they're just not good, period. For the $300 plus dollars you're spending on this one, with or without the self-empty bin, there's much better choices out there. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Do me a big favor, smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this test, and just a reminder, tomorrow night will be the giveaway. I'm going to try to do a live video, and we will pick the winner for those two robot vacuums. Thanks again for watching, and have a fabulous day.